I wouldn't want to be a woman living in Dubai. I were a Western woman, I would have a problem going there because I think it would it would bother me to, to see those kinds of limitations. I imagine it would be difficult for any Western woman to live in an Islamic country. They have to do as they're told and obey because there are the, uh, what do they call them? the clothes police, etc. I can imagine that it being um, a Muslim country, it's probably, obviously you have like the restrictions with dress and with alcohol. They don't get fair treatment as they should, uh, not respected. Well, I would have thought fairly restricted to what you can do in the freedoms, but probably a good standard of living if you're in shopping. I wouldn't want to be single and living in Dubai. Well, you're not drinking because of the religion and partying. Not really. They don't imagine there to be like really any clubs or anything. That they don't drive, which I find very strange. Yeah, um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a desert country, uh, and and it's also obviously Muslim as well. So you've got to you've got to fit, you know, with the accord as such. You can't just can't just go out and wear a bikini down the road, can you? And I don't know, go jogging, really. <laughs>
for 10 years. So my kids think that this is home. I just started work about a year and a half ago again. I hadn't worked. When our son was born, I stopped working and, um, because we could, we could afford for me not to work then. So I um, got a job working for the USO out in Jebelali, which is a American charity that works with U.S. service members that come to Dubai helping to get them tours and hotel rooms and making them feel more comfortable when they're here visiting Dubai. Dubai has, is the largest place in the world for U.S. military to be off duty. They have these preconceived ideas, like most people do, I guess, that aren't familiar with this part of the world, of what they're going to see here. And they're always really pleasantly surprised at how beautiful Dubai is and um, what there is to do. The, the people in Dubai have always been, been very welcoming of all nationalities. I mean, almost everybody here is from somebody else, someplace else. 20% of the population are nationals, and they're very welcoming of all the expats. Here. Then there's another button for super washer for to get cuts. I really enjoy what I'm doing, but my kids are always, and my husband are always top priority. And whenever there's something at school, a school play or anything like that, that's where I am. Every time something's in the paper about, you know, Iraq or, or the Middle East, we get phone calls from home going, you know, are you coming home now? Are you going to come home now? And we're safer here than, than you would be in, in Sydney or London or, or anywhere else. I've learned to respect the culture in, especially Ramadan, when I realised that, you know, men can't touch your hand. I let the local women make the first move to shake hands in a business situation. But that's the only difference I've noticed between here and the Western world. I ride with Sheikha Latifa, who is Sheikh Mohammed's niece. And she's 19 now. She's a lovely rider. There's a couple of other local girls that ride. Um, don't, don't, they don't even cover up. They're completely free to ride in whatever they want. And then the guys on the jump team, uh, again, they're all locals. And yes, I, I, I know them all. Everyone speaks English. They're great. Come on, guys. Let's have to breakfast. Thank you.